no problem if you guys look at it, but please give it back when you're done. I'll give you our website address so you can get all the information on the web. We're just saving as much paper as possible. Well, my name is James Bickford. I'm the project manager of this house. Um, this is the Santa Clara University house. Our goal was to uh, combine traditional and contemporary styles. The tradition of being uh, a mission style uh, campus with the contemporary style of solar powered. The real idea being make it a very livable space, make it so you don't have to be a rocket scientist to live in here, and also maximize energy efficiency and use obviously solar to power everything. Uh, we started 17 months ago with design and conceptualization. Uh, we spent about five months building the house, and we've been here for about a month now. So, inverter. What this guy does is it takes leftover alternating current, turns it into direct current to store in the batteries, or it takes direct current from the batteries and turns it into alternating current to feed the house. In order to go solar, all you need to do is put some panels on the roof and buy one of these inverters, um, and then you can power your house with solar as well as sell energy to the grid with the leftover. The beauty of this system is it not only is it more efficient than most in terms of the fact that it, it prioritizes powering the house versus charging the batteries, but it also allows you to show you all that it takes to go solar. Um, if you have a grid connection, you do not need to have a battery backup. Um, it is much more... <laughs> We're organizing a big conference in three weeks called Power Shift. Where? It's at University of Maryland. It'll be one of the largest gatherings of youth organizing around climate change. Okay. We're all part of the oh. Campus Climate Challenge. All of our systems in our home, everything's commercially available. And you can actually go to our products website and check out which products we used and try to work it that way. A lot of this stuff is stuff you can do. Um, we use active and passive solar systems. The active systems are probably what you're thinking of, which is the solar panels you see on the roof and yeah. on the side of the home that create electricity from the sun's energy that powers off various systems in the home. But there's also passive systems, which is pretty, my, pretty much my sunburn on my face. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we have a heavy stone floor. Light shines in through the windows in the winter and absorbs the sun energy. And then at night, well, during the day and at night, when the sun is down, it releases the energy back in the house and it heats the home. So it's reduces your energy bills, very environmentally friendly, and you can actually completely meet a uh, home's heating needs uh, just by passive solar, even in cold climates such as up in Vermont. So.